Today we're fixing the settings on a Train 624 thermostat, which is the same as a Nexia 624 thermostat. The thermostat is connected to a Train XL18i compressor, but you'll probably see this same problem on other makes and models as well. The compressor is a two-stage compressor. Stage one is basically low and stage two is high. For this to work, the thermostat needs to know that the compressor has two stages Otherwise, it's just going to run one stage. When the compressor is running stage one, it's using less energy, but it's not cooling as quick. And when it's running stage two, it's using more energy, but it's cooling much quicker. If you paid for a two-stage compressor, you probably want to use it. Otherwise, your house might not cool down very quickly. So if your house is warm and you have a two-stage compressor and the thermostat doesn't show the second stage running, then you might need to fix the settings on your thermostat. Your installer likely set up the thermostat correctly to recognize both stages. But if the thermostat shuts off for any reason, you're going to lose those settings because there's no battery backup. And these shutoffs can happen pretty frequently. For example, they can happen if your power goes out, or if the unit gets serviced, or if the switch on the condensate drain shuts the unit off automatically. Every one of these has happened to us in the last month. If you lose the settings, you're back to stage one cooling. The solution is to repeat the thermostat setup. Unfortunately, the steps aren't accessible to a user. They're hidden in the installer settings. And it's annoying and expensive to have to call an installer every time your thermostat needs reset. Fortunately, the installer manual is available online if you look hard enough and the steps are easy to follow. So, let's make it work. First, a word of caution. These steps are hidden for a reason, so be careful and proceed at your own risk. The main trick here is accessing the installer settings. Here are the steps from the manual. Start by pressing the menu button, and then press next until service appears. And this next one is the trick. We're gonna press, select, and hold it for five to 10 seconds until installer settings appears. There it is. And then we're gonna press select to enter the installer setting. Select again to change the equipment type. And the first one is the outdoor unit type. We're gonna leave that as air conditioning. The second one is, this is the key step, the outdoor unit stages. You can see it's set at two. If you wanted to change it to one, you can toggle between one and two right here. So we're gonna leave that at two stages. We're gonna go on to the next one, which is the compressor type. You can either have one compressor with two stages or two compressors with two stages. We want one compressor with two stages. So we're gonna set that. If you happen to have a two-stage furnace, you can set that here. This is the indoor heating stages. And you can set it to two just like the other ones. And then what you wanna do is exit out of the menu system by clicking, pressing done. And that's all there is to it. Even if your house is hot, it still might take five to 10 minutes for the thermostat to show the second, second stage running. But be sure it does, because your house will cool down a lot quicker. So to summarize, if your house isn't cooling off and you have a two-stage compressor, be sure your thermostat is set up correctly. That's it. That works. Thanks for watching.